my name's Erica Rapati Frost and I'm 27 years old. I'll be lifting in the 53 kilo women's division. I've been lifting for quite some time now. I believe it's coming on about 15 years. I was first introduced to weightlifting through my school where um, Scott Robinson came out and did a talent identification and I happened to be one of the athletes that he selected to come back and have a go uh, at weightlifting. I got a, a one month um, scholarship, no three month scholarship at Cougars Weightlifting and it's just evolved from there. My career highlight would have to be the 2006 Commonwealth Games where I won the first medal for Australia and my only medal in the Commonwealth so far so hopefully I can maybe bring another one home this time around. I've had a few injuries but probably the worst I found was when I had tendonitis in my knee. It just caused a lot of imbalances in my muscles, in my leg strength so it you know, being that weightlifting is a strength sport, it just caused a lot of problems um, and a lot of pain as well um, when I train. If I wasn't a weightlifter, I've always thought that I'd like to do dancing, but I'm definitely too old to do that. But I think I would have liked to do something similar to that. Strangest thing. Probably nothing. I don't, I can't think of a time that I've ever really lifted anything abnormal. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have any superstitions, but usually before I compete, I usually do a lot of visualization and um, imagine myself lifting the weight. And also, you know, I also think about um, all the people that support me. And that also, you know, gives me a bit of encouragement before I compete as well. I do, um, and it could be because I'm half Japanese, but I really enjoy watching the Japanese lifters. Um, my most favorite would be Hiromi Miyake. She's in the 48 kilo category, but also competes in the 53s um, on occasions, but um, I find her really inspiring. Outside of weightlifting, um, Probably be um, two people that inspire me would be my husband, Tony. Um, he's, I mean, he's the reason why I keep doing weightlifting and um, he's always been so encouraging, um, especially as a partner. You know, it's, it's, not, um, it's not too common for, for partners to be supportive, especially when you're an elite athlete because it's so time consuming. But, um, as well as my, my husband, it would be my dad. Um, he's always aspired, um, well he's an elite gymnast back in his day, but he's always aspired to go to the Olympics, which he's never done. So um, he's always had dreams of me going to the Olympics now. Um, so they're, they're probably the two that I find most inspiring. Um, I like to relax by spending time at home. Um, usually watching TV or playing with my dog Ronan. Um, I love watching movies, listening to music, but usually yeah, it's just um, chilling at home with Tony, doing nothing. <laughs> my favorite movie, I've got a few. I really like watching all the Marvel movies. Um, probably my favorite would be Thor. So, you know, um, Probably number one, um, but I also like other series like Harry Potter and Twilight. I love Japanese food. I, everything, everything about Japanese food, I could eat it every day. I wouldn't get sick of it, so that's definitely my favourite. Probably embarrassing, probably happens a lot. Um, you know, tripping over weights, over the bars. Um, it, yeah, it's quite common for me. <laughs> Ooh. I think the flag, Scottish flag. Um, drinking, am I allowed to say drinking? And I think 
when I imagine Scotland, I think of um, castles as well. Keep running the dark.